Hello and welcome to Aprili Wi-Fi Heatmaps video presentation. This brief tour will show you how to quickly and easily perform a Wi-Fi site survey. Let's start by creating a new project from the home screen. Enter the desired project's name, a short description and the client's name and logo if necessary. This is the information contained in the front cover of the report generated at the end of the site survey. However, this information can be later edited while using Acrylic Wi-Fi. Once all the project data has been defined, follow the same procedure for the locations. Locations are the different surveyed areas for a project, for example, the floors in a building or the faculty buildings in a university campus. In this case, we will perform a site survey on the second floor of a hotel. Normally, blueprints or satellite maps are used for indoor projects as positioning references. Adding a blueprint or map to the project is really easy. Simply select the desired file and then choose the type of calibration to define its dimensions. You can do this manually by indicating unknown distance between two points or in an easier way by using a GIS provider service, such as Google Maps. If you choose the second option, just enter the surveyed location address in the search file and then center the blueprint. In order to adjust the blueprint to the satellite image, decrease the light opacity, zoom in or out and rotate it until you find the right position. After you're done, you need to add the calibrated location to the project to begin the Wi-Fi site survey. Acrylic Wi-Fi has three different sections, site survey and data visualization, Wi-Fi quality and reporting. To start the data capture process, go to the site survey screen and click on the play button at the right top. This will open a dialog to enter the name of the scan that you are about to perform. For each location, you can perform as many scans as you want. To begin the data capture process, select your current position in the map. For large surveyed areas like this one, it is recommended to select the continuous capture mode, where you are only required to enter your position at the beginning of the survey and at the point in which you change direction. In other words, you indicate the initial position and start working straight at a constant pace until you reach a corner, where you need to indicate your position once again. During the scan, Acrylic Wi-Fi automatically performs the measurements along your way. During the data capturing, at the right side of the screen, you can visualize the collected information in real time for all detected networks as well as the details of all the access points in operation within the surveyed area, such as maximum transfer rate or supported communication protocol. At the bottom of the screen, you can visualize the signal strength levels for each one of the detected networks, along with the operating channel in 2.4 and 5 GHz bands for each network. You can pause or stop a scan completely once you have finished. In the same section, after the data capture process is complete, you can proceed with the site survey analysis. To create a heat map, go to the plots tab, select the type of map you want to generate and choose the network you want to visualize. In this case, we can observe how the Hotel Rooms Network's signal strength heat map is being created. Using the plot options, you can modify the color scheme to display maximum and minimum signal strength levels, define minimum thresholds and adjust opacity according to your needs. You can create many more heatmaps types, such as the channel coverage heatmap. To add some context to this plot, you can display the location of the different access points on the map. In this case, each operating channel is represented in a different color. As you can see, most of the infrastructure is well designed, since most APs are using the 1, 6 and 11 channels respectively, avoiding co-channel interferences and channel overlapping thanks to the correct inter-access point distances. 
If you display the AP coverage plot, you can still see that all the surveyed area is covered and that each AP covers more or less similar area, avoiding access points over years or under years. Once all the collected data in the site survey has been analyzed, you can create professional reports for your project to either deliver to a client or for internal corporate use. At the right side of the screen, you can see the current project's information, where you can select all components to be included in the report, surveyed locations, scans and networks. After that, select the type of report to generate and the desired level of detail. Reports can be created in editable Word format, in KMZ format to visualize the data on Google Earth, or in CSV format that opens on a spreadsheet application. As for the detail level, Aquili Wi-Fi allows you to generate an executive report containing a project's overview plus graphics, a technical report that additionally includes heat maps, or a complete report which offers all the information in a much more granular way. Finally, select the target folder for the document and the desired report language. An acrylic Wi-Fi report is the best way to document your site survey. This document offers complete information on the general status of your wireless network at a glance. You can analyze from the detailed information on the selected networks to the different heat maps that were generated during the analysis. Thank you very much for being with us. For more information about our products or to download the free trial version, please visit our website or send us an email to sales at